All right, so um, suppose 7, negative 2 is the point on the terminal side of angle theta in standard position. Um, we have to find the six trigonom trigonometric functions of theta. So pretty much you have 7, 2, and this is your terminal side of angle theta. So pretty much make this a right triangle. And you are going to find, since this is 7, this is negative 2 because you're going down 2. And in the fourth quadrant, you have to remember that um, cosine of theta and secant of theta are both going to be positive in the fourth quadrant. Okay. So what you want to do first is you want to find um, the length of the hypotenuse. So what we're going to do is just do the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we have 7 squared plus 2 squared, sorry, negative 2 squared, equals C squared. So we have a 49 plus 4 equals C squared, which is 53. And pretty much you can't um, reduce that anymore. So this is the length of X. So what you want to do, you want to find the six trigonometric functions, uh, the values. So we're going to follow Sokotoa. So for the sine of theta, we're going to do opposite over hypotenuse. So you have negative 2 over radical 53, but you can't have radicals on the bottom, so you're going to multiply top and bottom by square root of 53. And you get negative 2 square root 53 over 53 for your sine. Cosine of theta. Okay, so for your cosine of theta, we're going to do op, um, adjacent over hypotenuse. So pretty much you're going to have the same thing, same type of problem. 7 over square root of 53, and you ca can't have the square root in the bottom. So I'll multiply it from the top. So you have 7 square root 53 over... 53 is your cosine. And for tangent of theta, you're going to have opposite over adjacent. So it will just be negative 2 over 7. And then for, you're going to have your cosecant of theta. And it will just be the pretty much the flip of your sign. So it'll be radical 53 over negative 2. For secant of theta, it'll be the reverse of your cosine. So you will have square root of 53 over 7. And for your cotangent, you're going to have the opposite of tangent. So it will be 7 over negative 2. And that does not look like a box, but that's it.